Okay, so in this video, we will learn about the continuous random variable and we will talk about the probability density function for the continuous random variable. Alright, so previously, we already discussed about the discrete random variable. Okay, and now we're going to talk about continuous random variable and we also already discussed about the differences between uh, the discrete and the continuous random variable. So, make sure you know what is the difference between uh, discrete and continuous. Alright, so in discrete random variable, it has a probability distribution function or in short, we call it PDF. Okay, and for continuous, we also have a PDF, but for continuous, PDF is stand for probability density function. So the difference here for continuous, we use probability density function while for discrete we use probability distribution function so we can differentiate between discrete and continuous so when you read the question when the question state the probability density function that's mean you deal with continuous random variable not a discrete random variable but if in a question it state the probability distribution function that's mean you deal with discrete random variable because uh, you must know the difference between discrete and continuous. Alright, so in probability density function, we know that in discrete, uh, the summation of all the probability must equals to 1. Okay, similarly, for continuous, since continuous, we cannot find the summation, we need to find the integral. So if we integrate from negative infinity to infinity, the function fx, Okay, and it is equals to 1, that means this is a probability distribution, a probability density function. So for continuous, if we integrate from negative infinity to infinity, we get 1, that means the function fx is an PDF. Alright, so that is the difference between uh, continuous and discrete random variable. So please remember, for continuous random variable, okay, if we integrate from negative infinity to infinity we should get one so this is the first information that we have to know all right so when we want to find the probability okay so that's mean what is mean by one this mean the area under the curve because the function f if we sketch on the graph maybe like this okay this is fx so that's mean if we find equals to 1, that means the area under the curve is equals to 1. That means the total area under the curve here okay, is 1. Okay, so the area is 1. Okay, that is the is the properties of a continuous random variable. Okay, so that means if you want to find any probability, uh, the probability for the continuous random variable is we want to find the the area under the curve all right so for example if you want to find the probability of x between a and b okay to do that that's mean if a let's say here a and this is b so you want to find the probability that's mean what we want to find is we want to find the area that covered from a to b okay to get that area we need to integrate from a to b okay the function fx and that's how we find the probability okay probability for the continuous random variable so that's mean for continuous random variable it will involve the integration so what you have learned in chapter one is important in this chapter all right so you might ask what if we want to find the probability of x equals to a value a all right so probability of x equals to a is zero because we cannot find the area for a straight line that means there are no thickness in a okay it's just a straight line okay that's mean we are integrating from a to a and which is obviously equals to zero so remember for continuous there are no uh, probability for x equals to a all right so you must remember this formula and for the continuous there are no difference between we have a equal or not have an equal sign 
Okay, for example, when x in between a and b like this, okay, there are no difference with probability of x plus n or there are no equal sign here. They are the same. Okay, all these are similar, but this is only for continuous. Okay, but for discrete, uh, it's not the same. Okay, but for continuous, okay, all these intervals are the same. Alright, so that is how to find the probability. Next is to find the median. So median for for continuous random variable, the formula is is we must integrate from negative infinity to m the function f x, and the answer must equal zero point five. And the median is m. So when we do this uh, this calculation, what we want to find is what we want to solve the for the value of m. Okay, so we are going to discuss an example about this later. Uh, so you must remember this formula. Okay, the first one. And then when, we want, when you want to find the probability, you can use this formula. And you must remember the total area under the curve or the when we, you integrate from negative infinity to infinity, the area or the, the answer must equal to 1. If you, if you integrate, the answer is not 1. That means that is not a... Uh, probability density function.